and defend. O oh God, save me by your name, by your power, defend me. O oh God, hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, your, with your, spirit. your spirit. My dear Brothers and sisters, the entrance and defense today, Psalm 53, expresses the deep conviction of faith of everyone who comes to the Lord, that he will be there to save, to defend our cause. He will be there to answer our prayer and give ear to the words of their mouth. This faith conviction gives us great confidence when we come to the Lord. Our God is a God of compassion, a God of understanding. As we stand at this altar for this worship, let's offer to God everything sad in our hearts. All that we are upset and worried about, let's offer to Him very specially or our sinfulness, however sinful we are, we are acceptable in the hands of God when we come to Him repenting over our sins and therefore asking pardon for all the sin in our heart. Let us confess together. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through the mighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them 
in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us condemn him to a shameful death. A reading from the book of Wisdom, chapter 2, verses 1 and 12 to 22. Ungodly men reasoned unsoundly, saying to themselves, Let us lie in wait for the righteous man, because he is inconvenient to us and opposes our actions. He reproaches us for sins against the law and accuses us of sins against our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and calls himself a child of the Lord. He became to us a reproof of our thoughts. The very sight of him is a burden to us because his manner of life is unlike that of others and his ways are strange. We are considered by him as something base, and he avoids our ways as unclean. He calls the last end of the righteous happy and boasts that God is his father. Let us see if his words are true, and let us test what will happen at the end of his life. For if the righteous man is God's son, he will help him and will deliver him from the hand of his adversaries. Let us test him with insult and torture, that we may find out how gentle he is and make trial of his forbearance. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to what he says, he will be protected. Thus they reasoned, but they were led astray, for their wickedness blinded them, and they did not know the secret purposes of God or hope for the wages of holiness or discern the prize for blameless souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. is close to the broken hearted the Lord is close to the broken hearted the Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth when the just cry out the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the broken The Lord is close to the broken hearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. The Lord is close to the broken He will keep guard over all his bones. Not one of his bones shall be broken. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. All who trust in him shall not be condemned. The Lord is close to the broken let us rise to welcome the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, 
The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Chapter 7, verses 1 and 2, 10, followed by 25 to 30. After this, Jesus moved about within Galilee, but he did not wish to travel to Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. When his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he's speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he's the Messiah? But we know where he's from. When the Messiah comes, no one will know where he's from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you know me and also know where I come from. Yet, I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel speaks to us today about a very lonely moment in the life of Jesus. He was preaching in Galilee and healing the sick. He could not go to Judea, to Jerusalem, because the Jewish authorities were trying to kill him, as the gospel tells us. The king was against him. Even his own relatives had turned against him. At one time, they wanted to take him away forcefully, because they said he was crazy and when he was doing the miracles of healing in Galilee, they said to him, why do you waste your miraculous powers in a place like this? Go to Jerusalem. And that's where you must do miracles so that everybody know who you are. And at one time, even the disciples did not understand him. He said, John 16, 32, All of you will abandon me, but I am not alone. My Father is with me. The one comfort of Jesus, the one conviction of Jesus was the Father was with him. As he said in the gospel today, I am sent from him. You do not know him, but I know him. I know he has sent me for a purpose, to fulfill a plan of his in this world. And Jesus always kept very close to his father in prayer. The Gospels reveal to us that however busy he was in his public ministry, he always found time to be with the Father in prayer. And he said to the apostles once, John chapter 4, verse 34, My food is to do the will of my Father and to complete the mission he has sent me for. And he said again, All that I am doing, all that I am saying, is all according 
to the will of my father. I am sent by the father to fulfill a plan of his. My dear friends, for you and for me, we need to understand that we are not born by chance. We are not in the world by accident. We are sent. We are sent by our Father for a purpose, for a plan of God to be realized in us, through us. And we will know that plan when we are close to Him in prayer. In prayer, God will reveal that plan to us. In the fulfillment of that plan, perhaps our dear ones, our relatives, our followers could turn against us. And yet, it's not them we must please. The only one we have to please by fulfilling His will is our God. And therefore, it's important that we spend our time in prayer to be close to God, to get the plan of God revealed. When we make a decision against the people around us, a conviction of faith should be, I'm doing God's will. And if I please all the people around me, and I do not please God, my life will be wasted. And Jesus knew that for sure. Therefore, he was clear in his mind and the way he spoke to the people, I'm here, sent by, by my Father to do a will of us, a plan to fulfill that plan of us. Let us take this posture from our Lord to come to God every time and wait upon God to understand God's plan for us that we may fulfill that plan. That's the greatest thing that we must be doing in this world to fulfill God's plan for us in this life. Amen. plans and schemes You mean nothing more than your love and grace These alone oh Lord, are enough for me Take my thoughts Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults. 
raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and I entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Raphael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. Amen. With the confidence of the children in the love of our Heavenly Father, let's all pray to Him in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy that you, that should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let our lives become a song for you, like a prayer that breaches high. The glory of your name. Let our lives become an offering that will please into your heart. The glory of your name, our highest call. All that really matters, all that really counts is found in would be lived for You're the way, the life, the truth And all that really matters is you In Jesus it's you Communion and fun In Christ we have redemption by his blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of his grace. Let us pray. 
grant we pray o lord as we pass from old to new so with former ways left behind we may be renewed in holiness of mind through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit may almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit amen, amen. let's go in the peace and joy of the lord thanks, thanks, thanks be, be to god, god. Oh, Lord. 